Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are going to continue our story about web servers using ESP microcontrollers. And today I'm going to teach you how to download file from that kind of server. On left side you could see code from our previous episode and server upload document. In our previous episode we dealt with uh, uploading file to our server. And now we are going to do other way around. Uh, but for that I'm just going to copy this entire code and we are going to change few details in order to get what we want. So we don't uh, need uh, this uh, server upload document anymore. And I named this second document HTTP server download. So everything is going to remain the same. And by the way, strongly recommended to watch my previous episodes in order to understand everything properly. So at the top we have our uh, imports, uh, then uh, we have our uh, credentials variables, so SSID and password, uh, web server that is going to sit on port 80, we have our content, uh, we have function that is going to uh, return that uh, content, uh, we have uh, functions for uh, root response and for uh, not found, and then we have update function. And we are going to use this very same function for download functionality. So I am just going to delete entire code from this function. So everything. I'm going to make some space. And uh, in a void loop we just have a server uh, handle client. And uh, in our void setup, uh, first we are initializing our serial monitor and Wi-Fi connection, then we are waiting until a connection is established, then we are printing a local IP and MAC address, we are initializing MDNS, and with these three lines we are connecting pages and functions that are going to be executed. When client asks for those pages, uh, then we are initializing that server and in here we are creating our uh, local file system. So if that is clear, get back to our uh, update function. And let's do coding. So first we are going to create single file, call it file, nothing special. Then SPI FFS, remove, and I'm going to call my file something like download underscore me. Now we are going to open file for writing, SPI FFS, open once again download me and we are going to open it in write mode then we are going to uh, write some content to this file file write and i'm going to uh, write something like this is something that is going to be in the file and now I have to type in number of uh, characters from uh, this string. So I counted 49. And finally we are going to close this file. In here we are going to check whether this file uh, exists or not. SPI FFS dot exists and we are going to provide path to our file but we have to do it with forward slash don't forget forward slash so download underscore me if this file so if this file not exists we are going to print and three dots because I like in that way. Now we are going to open a file again, SPIFFS, open, once again, forward slash, download underscore me, and now we are opening for reading. And now this is important part. We are going to send header. And with header, we are going to tell web browser that we are actually sending file, not web page. So we are going to do that in this way. So server send header and we are going to provide content dash type 
and second string is going to be text forward text. So send header function requests uh, two strings. First it's argument name and second it's argument value. And with this first line we are saying that we are going to send textual content. Now server send header content this position and in second string attachment column file name equals download underscore me and I'm going to add txt at the end. Okay, this is fine. In another line server send header we are going to say connection and second string close no it's not capital C just regular one so with this third line we are saying that we are going to attach file with name of uh, download me dot txt uh, to our next message and after that file arrives we are going to close our connection and Finally, server stream file, we are going to send file and again type text, text, because we are sending textual file with this content. Okay, and at the end we are just going to close this file and I'm going to remove this empty space. So at the end, I'm just going to add my Wi-Fi credentials. Uh, we are going to upload this code to my ESP32 microcontroller and we are going to test it. All right, guys, everything is ready. And now I'm going to upload this code. Okay, I missed something. Aha, we have to cast this string to constant uh, uint8 uh, underscore t. So just put brackets in here and type constant uint8 underscore t pointer and now i'm going to try to upload this piece of code again all right we are uploading okay everything is fine and now i'm going to open my microcontroller serial monitor I'm restarting it and finally we are connected uh, with IP address of 192.168.0.23 and now I'm going to open my Firefox type in that IP address so page looks the same like uh, in our previous episode but now with uh, this button upload we are just going to download our textual file and you see we just download it i'm going to open it in local directory so in home downloads and let's see what we have in here this is something that is going to be in the file okay and let me check this is exact text that we have put it in this file so guys thank you for watching i hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya